quali a qualifying word as opposed <laughs> to a title. Exactly. Uh, where Joker, uh, this guy has been making waves, man. This guy's really good. Yeah, he beat he beat Chag today too. He beat and Chag today. That was I was in winners' know, pools. I I don't know how often they play though, because they're both from Mexico. Yeah. Um, but Joker did he got ninth at low tier city seven. Yeah, he beat Dakbo. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah, when I saw his name, I actually was doing some research because originally he was actually in my pool. So I was doing some research on him. I was like, wow, this this guy's really good. Yeah. This guy's nuts. Yeah. He, he's really one of the few people who are pushing the Samus metagame. Uh, it's really just him and then uh, YB, who doesn't really play in America at all. Yeah. Well, there's also Quick. Quick is really... Quick is very... Yeah, you're If right. you look at Quick's Twitter, bro, yeah, he, yeah. he's always posting some clicks that he's doing. He's like, I can do this, I can do this. Look at what Samus can do. Basically, Samus's are spread out throughout the four corners of the world. You can't find one in the same place as another. It's kind of a law of the universe. Yeah. We're going to be seeing Joe. Uh, yeah, not Joker, dang it. We're going to be seeing Cloud versus uh, <laughs> Samus here. I'm not really sure what to think of this matchup. I haven't seen him. Haven't seen him much in Ultimate. But at the same time, you could assume Joker's gonna want to try to wall out Spargo. Don't let him in. The second uh, Cloud gets in, just because he's been nerfed, he still has those juggles. He still has that uh, mobility. Yes. So I play Samus. So hopefully, I can provide some insight. Oh, that's what's up. Uh, this matchup, it was really bad in Smash Four. Horrible. <laughs> it's still pretty bad. <laughs> it's still, uh, it's still pretty terrible. That's about what uh, I thought. Yeah, Cloud. You know. Back air was kind of the, the big one, and uh, it's still really good. Back air still the same move. Yeah. And Cloud, like, when he gets hit, he still acts weirdly and kind of falls out of a lot of Samus's, you know, throw conversions, stuff like that. But so far, Joker, he's been putting on a Playing lot right of now, percent. We're doing the bench lifts on him right now. This combo is Ooh. looking rough. Yeah, being able to jump out of that charge shot is so crucial. Having your double jump to make sure that you can charge that charge shot safely off stage without getting edge guarded too easily. I One thing that. you're gonna have to work, watch out for is the medium sized charge shots because those are gonna convert into grabs, and dash attack, even F smash. Yeah, that was the, those are cool. like the first thing people said about Samus is you saw those Twitter combos. Watch Quick do like quick uh, the medium charge shot down throw fair, just some nasty yeah. damage. Yeah, and around this percent, he's gonna be able to do the medium charge shot into a uh, like a turnaround pivot F smash. I forget what the tech is actually called. But yeah, uh, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But uh, actually, Sparkle kind of losing that first stock. Looked like he was a bit scared of what uh, Joker was doing. He just kind of SD'd. Yes. Oh, jab oh. lock, up tilt. I like oh. that. That's that's damage. That's that's, that's really good damage. Yeah, that's really good damage. Especially the fact that you can't uh, tech grounded tilt. So you got that up tilt into a nair for free. Look yeah. at this damage coming in. Joker suddenly just anti-airing F smash. What is that? That's not a thing that people do. But don't touch my that. shield. Yeah. That yeah, cloud. As soon as you touch a shield, he's immediately allowed to uh, up B, get you some free damage. Right. I actually think Joker could have gotten a back air off of that charge shot, but went for the dash attack instead, and Spargo on point with the tech. But throwing off the bombs. Uh, that sword does not care about it. I'm going to slice right through it. But There's that another S-Smash, S -smash, yeah. These right. S-Smashes are getting so much mileage for Joker. He really has been kind of all over Spargo. And it, 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 he hasn't been running away at all. He's kind of been occupying his space and not letting him retake stage control. I like how Joker didn't try to go for reversal, maybe try to down him a little too early. He was happy with just going back to stage and getting his ledge guard. Yeah. Something you have to know about Samus in this game is that her advantage state is really, really good, but her disadvantage state is really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And so Joker, as soon as he gets hit, so his mix-ups to get back on the stage are going to be very, very important. Yep, I mean, not trying to actually get a punish. You know that limit, uh, that limit cross slash is still pretty lagless. What a call out with the up smash. I'm not gonna kill just yet. Back air. There's a forward air. That forward air was like definitely in her yeah. chest. Good tech though, but gonna get pineapple under the bottom half of PS2. Joker gonna take that first game yeah. with a two song. I'm gonna just, I mean, if it's not already obvious, I'm very biased in this one. Uh, hey, where it happens. I was biased yeah. when AC was on. I love Snake. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Uh, but Joker, you know, this guy, he's very cognizant of your recovery habits. He never lets you recover the same way twice. And as soon as he thinks that he's pressured you into going low or going high, he's ready to cover that option. So that's what we saw right there. As soon as he as soon as soon he uh, went low, he just ran off with the back air and knew there was nothing Spargo could really do other than tech. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately in that situation, he got like the ceiling tech instead of the wall tech. Yeah, so you couldn't tech jump. Yeah. I think, yeah, that was a fantastic back air no matter what. Even if he got the wall tag, I don't even know if it would have been enough. Yeah. Oh, I Ooh, like that. That's a quick back air. That is really difficult to do. Yeah, I think he, uh, that was probably attack cancel back yeah. air. 
Uh, gets up B, but not the full part of it, but we're not done. We don't care. We're going to bench press on him. 40-40 yeah. apiece. And up air is really good when you're above Cloud, but in this game, when you're standing, not nearly as good. Samus, though, one of the taller characters that do still get hit by Cloud's up air standing on the ground. Unfortunate. That's oh convert. my god, yeah. that was so cool! Yeah, yeah. Because now, now that the missile like takes a second to come out, you actually can follow up with Nair just like that, or forward air, whatever you want. That's nasty. That's something I have not seen. It gets a quick charge shot into the dash attack, like you were saying earlier. Like, honestly, playing against Samus, like I feel like a lot, a lot of people don't enjoy playing against Samus, but like watching Samus conversions, it's one of the most hype things like in this game. You see that charge shot, that down throw fair, or all those conversions like we just saw, and it's so cool. Caught the jump, but already up three stocks to one. Yeah, Joker is slaying this game. He has been showing off what Samus can do in a really big way. Spargo, he's got to find his way back in, man. He's, he's got to you know, find it's, something. It's doable. This, this matchup is, like, not that good. Joker's playing it amazingly, though. Yeah, Joker is doing a really good job. Yeah, I guess that back uh -oh. again. I like how he just goes off for the uh, bomb anyways. He tries he to get the nair. Okay, I think, he, I think he got greedy and went for the full hop instead of the short hop there. I love this. Damage. Yeah, I love this conditioning Spargo's doing with these back airs. Then as soon as he wants to run away, he immediately uh, anti-airs him with the up smash. Yeah, right now you've got to know that Spargo wants to throw out the limit cross slash. There's a parry. shield break. I like charging the limit. Take your time. He's mashing though, so you got to go over there and get him. But yeah, get get your quick charge in. Get up here again. Spargo did do a good job of breaking that shield, but you still have two more stocks to take away. And the way that Joker's been playing, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be. Yeah, and Spargo, like, uh, one of the best things. Oh Ooh, my he goodness! He him. He, come here, come here. <laughs> Snatched him up, dude. Jeez. That was really, really good cognizance to grab him on the platform like that. Because if he missed that grab, he was fine. He was just gonna recover. Bro, if he I had was, the stock lead, he's chilling. If I was Joker, I'd definitely be smirking. Like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, that was that was clean. That was clean. So Joker up 2-0 against Spargo. SoCal PR Spargo. What is he, number number one? Two. Two. It's oh. Void, then Spargo, then Pokemon. Elegant. Gotcha. Pokemon okay. trainers. Yeah, actually, I, I heard Spargo was playing some trainer. He, I was watching him do a, a money match with Dakpo that he was going trainer. I don't know how good it is. I've never actually seen it, but trainer's a fun character. We are here at Switch Fest, so let's see how he switches it up. Oh, this is that grab. Yeah, again, this is for 25th place. The gets sent away. That's crazy. I've never seen that interaction. Yeah, the withdrawal, it is fully invincible once he's in the shell, but if you do enough uh, knockback, it'll just kind of push him away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pressure. This. Where are you going? This conditioning. Spargo Spargo doesn't know what to do right now. Tries to get a conversion, gets that bear. Not fast enough with your actions, though. But now we're uh, going over to the Ivy Store, realizing the Squirtle's not going to work out. He's already at 100%. Knows if he gets hit one more time with Squirtle, it could be the end. Yeah, and even right now with Ivy Store, he could die to back air. There, there's a lot of things that can kill Ivy Store right now. A medium charge shot conversion might do it. There's a drag down, drag down, down tilt. Fair. Yeah, yeah. I think he. I do think Ooh. Spargo was recognizing that if he's going to bring it back, it was going to be with that Ivy Store. Spargo actually IRL kind of did a little like handshake in the air. I think he's maybe a little bit flustered right now. Doesn't know quite what to do against the Samus. Yeah. And one of the things that Samus has that's really good charge shot in this game, because platforms are so difficult to navigate, people love to run off platform. And so being able to just throw a charge shot out and cover the entire platform is huge for Samus. And you throw it out at a kind of a height that covers just the barely the top of it and also covers them running off if they're a, a quicker character. Okay, I see. Right now, yeah, Spargo is just kind of looking lost. Tries to up B out of there, but Spargo immediately going to throw him, pushes him away, charging up the mouthwash. Now we have Ivysaur coming oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That F-Smash is so good at covering so many options. All you really have to do is react and uh, guess which one they're doing, and you're going to usually get a stock most of the time. I, so Joker keeps doing this jab, jump, down air on the shield. It's not safe. And he's I think he's only been punished for it one time. So I'd yeah. like to see what Spargo's going to do to kind of, you know what? Work around that a little bit more. Yeah, he's the shield pressure is not okay. He's been getting a lot of damage off these jab mix-ups. Let's get that up air. Not gonna hit yet. Still staying with the Ivy, so I do agree with the option. But now he's off stage, going off to the Charizard. But that's, that's an F smash. Punish. 
That's that's definitely that thing that separates good trainers from like not so great trainers is how they usually use that flare blitz with Charizard. A lot of times you see him recovery, lose to a flare blitz, like I need to get out of here, I need to get this damage, but all right. I have to do is hold up that shield and then look how stupid you look. <laughs> <laughs> and Joker, he is just a couple more hits away and he is just running away with this one. He's got so much on his side. He just keeps the advantage state going and does not let up. Spargo finally getting stage control though. All right, Spargo trying air. to get something started, but again, things are just not working out. Yeah, a, a, a back air into, you know, a Vine Whip might kill right now. Not 100% sure, but, you know, because Samus is a very heavy character. Oh, this is scary. He this just tried scary. to crouch it. That Bro, he definitely, he, he, he that was like, almost genius. Yeah, that was a good idea, but uh, I don't know, that flower was a little too tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. He was, po he was poking up a little bit. Joker. Joker definitely kind of ran away with that with a commanding 3-0. Spargo not looking happy right now. Yeah, man. Joker, though. This guy's good. Samus. He, his, pretty okay character. His Samus is ridiculous. Yeah. Those mix-ups he was doing, he was he, he, he was getting away with murder. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Still. All right, man. So, uh, Joker will move on to play the loser of Nico and Kameme. But right now, we've got Larry Lur versus Rockstar. No? Bro, Rockstar Ro is? That is Rockstar. Yeah. Bro, he beat Ven? He's on a tear. He beat Ven, 3-1. Okay. Honestly, what a hero. Bro, I, I played what him. A guy. I played him the other week. We were, I played him in Bracken. Like, we were going back and forth. But he was just getting me, and I was like, dang, bro. You're, you're like, his zero is not zero. So his weep was, like, popping off. And I was like, you're probably going to do good as Twitch face. He's like, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. He used to be a, a Samus man. Yeah, back in Smash Boy played Samus. Now he's like juggling between Samus, Ridley, and Wii Fit. Okay. But between the three, I think Wii Fit's the strongest. That makes sense. The... Samus and Wii Fit actually have the exact same ball speed and air speed. Like all, all of their properties are like almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that he would be able to just kind of switch between yeah. the two pretty easily. I've been talking about it because like I like to play Wii Fit on the side myself. We were like talking about all the things Wii Fit could do. We're like, yeah, this character's on crack. She's so good. She's so fun. All that stuff. And Rockstar Race is finding a lot of a lot of things with it. Like yeah. So here at Switchfest 2019, uh, check out the brackets at smash.gg slash switchfest. There have been a lot of upsets that you need to catch up on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, no, most notably, Mars losing to Kome. Yeah, 3-1. That was... Yeah, Kome is in winner's side top eight. Yeah. Ashok is in winner's side top eight. Character That's exciting. Kind of broken. Character? Hey, don't tell anyone, but that character's I, broke. So, SoCal knows. SoCal. SoCal knows. Well, I knows what's up, but... Everyone else was like, yeah, the character's not good. And I was like, how do you look at what Shulk's allowed to do to you and yeah. think, that's fine. Like, you look at Shulk and he loses, like, three matchups entirely. And it's like, how do you think that's not a broken yeah. character? All it takes is some very capable hands with the right character. And we're seeing that with Rockstar Ace right now. Larry Lur going to be going with the Wolf as well. 